Here I have two SDR IP units, both of them face locked to 10 MHz, and they are running synchronously. I have disabled the automatic uh, polarization adjustment and I enable it now. And you can see uh, both are equally strong and the phase shift is, uh, it should be possible to see here, minus 13 degrees and the frequency is 29 megahertz. I have clicked on it here and it is set to 29 here. And after a while you can see the phase shift varies a little with time. I can make the adjustment time constant longer to make the variation slower. I can also make the bandwidth a little bit lower to the same uh, end. If I disturb it that's the time it takes to adjust. I will change the frequency. It's a step size of 250 kilohertz. And as you can see the face is very much the same. And I can go further like that. And it's similar. Uh, what I'm going to show is what happens when there is a time delay between the channels. So I insert a long coaxial cable in one of the channels. This is enough length of cable to provide a phase shift that varies with frequency. The frequency is now 28 and a half megahertz and I see a left circular in the polarization graph and here the phase angle is said to be minus 120 and I step 250 kilohertz upwards and then I look at the new frequency and here the phase angle is different and it says minus 156 here and 250 more kilohertz and now it says phase plus 169 and again and here is right hand circular almost a final step 29 and a half and it's again almost circular and it says 65 degrees here and it says 47 here I don't know the reason and I have forgotten uh, you can read about it somewhere what this polarization graph is doing I have connected a pulse generator to run the linear calibration routine so this is the first screen and I press enter and I have to restart and that is because I'm running the SDR IPs and as you can see it didn't run properly I clear that's A and this is because the signal is too weak I have added 12 dB decibels of gain and I clear the memory so you can see how it starts now. And this looks right. So I have to wait for a while while Linrad is collecting. You can see that the phase slope is different 
between the channels. Time difference is 0.4 samples. That's not very much. I will be satisfied with this. Compute no corrections. That is you. And you can see the amplitude varies with frequency and the phase varies in different directions. So I accept this and save. And then I uh, go back to the normal processing screen and uh, look at what happens with the phase versus frequency function. At 29.0 MHz I see 50 degrees, that's right hand circular, and I step upwards and a few degrees difference, it's still right hand circular, and upwards again. and still right hand circular but the angle has changed a little it says 34 degrees now so this calibration is not perfect but it is reasonable uh, probably uh, this can be done a little better uh, I can run calibration once more I have set a somewhat higher pulse repetition frequency. The pulses are still fairly weak. Uh, the level is 4% only. Now you can see that the difference in phase slope here is smaller than it was the previous time I made a calibration. I can increase the gain to see better. And here you can see the slope upwards is greater than this one which is flat more or less. So I have collected now 13,000 averages, that is more than enough. So I uh, compute the no corrections and I don't like to see these peaks here so I uh, decrease the steepness that is F. Something like that and then accept this. And now it is still a high gain. Now you can see that the green trace, the face angle, is very flat. And I can increase gain again. The y-axis gain is 8. Now, gain y8. And I increase it. And now, you can still see that the slope is a little bit different, but the difference is much smaller now. So I wait some time and try linear to learn this. It says now that the time difference is only 0.006 samples. Because the correction I already computed is applied before this calibration is done again on top of that. And it's clear there are some statistic variations. That is the accuracy of the process. So I again press U to look at the curves. And I don't want this peak out here now either so I change the steepness F 
big reefs. Like this. And accept this. And the y axis gain is still 128. And both are straight lines, more or less. There is a jump, the center discontinuity here, uh, but this line has the same slope as that, and this is also flat. So now the face should be accurately calibrated. Uh, so I am happy with this and save to the disk from RAM. That is S. Now 29.5 MHz. Uh, the phase angle is minus 111. 29.250. Phase minus 111. And 29.0 minus 113. That is 2 degrees. And another 250 kilohertz minus 111. 28 and a half minus 110. Maybe I didn't hit the center properly. That doesn't make a difference. So now calibration is reasonably good and one can use the entire spectrum to measure phase angles. Despite the time delay from that length of cable I have. Uh, I don't know whether this will work for hardware that has a much larger time delay between the channels such as the uh, SDR Play RSP Duo. Uh, someone who has that could try and tell me whether it works or not. Uh, the disadvantage is of course that the calibration has to, repeat, to be repeated every time the unit is restarted. Because the time delay is probably different from time to time because it comes from how the two different uh, tuner chips are started and starting to send data to the USB channel. I don't know, someone could tell me.